Hello everybody. Welcome back to Gertie's Adventures. Sorry it's been a little while. Been a little busy. Uh, we've actually been on a couple trips just for softball games and stuff like that. But uh, ran into an issue last weekend and uh, I think it's time to address hydraulic jacks. So stay tuned and we'll get right on it. It's a common occurrence when I drive down the road. I'll hear a beep from my jacks. What happens? They slide down just a little bit too much and these stupid lights come on. Even when I retract them, I get good for a moment and then one or two or even three sometimes will pop back on. So I looked at the troubleshooting guide and there's a couple different things that could be wrong with it. One of them is just low on fluid. So when the hydraulic system is low on fluid, the jack tries to push all the way up and a little bit of air is in that system. And instead of staying all the way up, the air then expands and lets it drop back down. Now the sensors are really sensitive, have to stay all the way up, otherwise they click on. Now there are some motor homes where if you're driving one comes down, it will make you stop. In mine, that's not the case. I know they don't come down far, so I've kind of been ignoring the problem and just pushing the button every once in a while to make sure it doesn't go down too far. But when we were out camping last weekend, one of my jacks wouldn't extend all the way. It made it really hard to level. I had to put extra blocks underneath of it in order to even get it close to level. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a look at this problem today and hopefully it's just that it's low on fluid. But let's climb down, we'll take a look, we'll see how low it is. The one that was giving me most problems was the left rear jack. So we'll tackle that first. Come on down, let's go. Hey guys, underneath here now. So this is the leveling jack system that we have installed on Gertie. Hopefully you can see everything. Now, every lab inject system is made up of the same basic components. You have the foot down here at the bottom. You have a hydraulic ram here. These lines, one and two. Then again, go to a pump system. You have the controller device. These are some relays that control the pump. You have the pump itself up here. And in my case, I have a reservoir here. And then you have this switch here, which is what tells the system that yes, the jack is all the way up. And that's what controls the lights up front. As you can see, there's a little bit of play in mine. So my foot itself, this needs to be tightened down a little bit. That was one of the recommendations in the manual. Now, my system has a reservoir for each of the four jacks. Some systems have one reservoir that covers the back two jacks and one for the front two jacks. And still other systems have one reservoir that covers all four jacks. But I'll have to do mine individually. So, the opening for this reservoir is up here. I won't be taking that off in a minute, but uh, just looking at the inspection, I did notice a little bit of fluid down here at the bottom. So I do believe I have a leak somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this clean real quick so it's easier to work with and wipe the uh, top of the, or the cover up here so I don't get any dirt or anything in the system. And then we'll take a look at it, see how full it is and see if we can fill it up and extend it all the way. Oh, one more tip. When you're refilling this, the reservoir, make sure the jack is in the all the way up position because that's how you know the correct level of the system. As the jack goes down, more fluid goes into the cylinder itself out of the reservoir, so you won't get a correct reading. All right, let me wipe this thing off and we'll get back to you in a minute. 
Well, I've got the top cleaned off now. As you can see, the cap for the reservoir is actually red. It looked black. So I know it's pretty well cleaned off. A little bit more to clean around the edges. I'm going to flip it off real quick and let's take a look at see the level. So to check the level of the system, I'm simply going to remove the cap, set it aside. And then use this wooden stick, stick it in there and we'll check the level. And we're almost two inches down. So the book states that a half inch of room should be left on the top. So I'm about an inch and a half down. Makes me think that's the uh, issue with it extending all the way. I'm going to see what I can do about getting some fluid in there. And then I'll catch back up with you. Well, I looked up in the manual, and uh, the recommended fluid to refill these reservoirs, at least in my case, is uh, automatic transmission fluid, ATF, specifically DEX-3. So I still have some left over from my other video where I did the hydraulic slide on Gertie. Take a look at that video if you haven't seen it yet. It's a good one. Hey guys, just doing some filling. So with the angle of, of this opening and the size of the bottle of the automatic transmission fluid, it's really hard to actually get it to go in there. I found the easiest way is to go ahead and siphon it out of the container and into the reservoir. It's a little bit slow because automatic transmission fluid doesn't flow that fast through a siphon, but it'll get the job done It'll keep from spilling everywhere. Well guys, I just finished filling the reservoir back up. It's got about a half inch of room right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the cap on. And we're gonna go see if this thing will lift up all the way. Now I'm still expecting to have come down here and top off the fluid one more time once I run the jacks up and down. But hopefully if it extends all the way, when it comes back up, it'll get rid of the problem of it falling back down just a little bit. I'm also gonna take this opportunity to tighten this nut down here in the bottom of the foot. That'll get rid of this play in this in the foot itself and uh, hopefully help with the situation too. Well, let's run inside and take a look. Well, I'm back inside where it's a little bit cooler. It's getting warm out there, guys. So I filled up both of the rear reservoirs up to specs. I've actually run it up and down a few times just lifting the rear all the way to the all the way to the extending point and then all the way back to a retract point. I checked the levels again topped them both off to about a half inch underneath the top of the reservoir so it seems that we're all good there. I actually have now measured each of the or the extension of each of them both of them match each other at 10 inches I'm sorry, 10 and 3 quarters inches. So, since they're both equal, I'm assuming that's about correct. So, I'm going to retract them one more time. We're going to see if these lights go off and stay off. Alright, so let's retract them the rest of the way and see if the light stays off for us. And the front two were all the way up, or all the way extended, so I'm going to take them a moment. Well, that looks good to me. The green light's staying on now. I think we're good to go. So, since I cycled them all the way down and up a few times, I think I got all the air out of the system. And that should just about do it. Hey guys, thanks for hanging around to the end. Hey, I've got two more pumps to do, but I'll do that on my own time. Hopefully you guys now have the knowledge to do your own. So, if you like this video, Give it a thumbs up for me. If you dislike this video, hit that dislike button, but make sure you hit it twice so it really takes. Leave a couple comments in the comments section below. 
so we can have a little dialogue. Maybe I can help you with some other problems. I've got a lot of things to do with Gertie, and uh, hopefully you guys like them. But uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.